Hey! Welcome back to the Kristen Starfish Show. I'm your host, Kristen. This is my trusty stuff sidekick, Starfish, who loves learning about the ocean just as much as I do. I have an exciting episode today where we're gonna learn about clownfish. Yes, we're gonna explore the unique behaviors they have, that exciting relationship they have with their host and enemy. So let's get ready to swim with the clownfish and take a dive. Hey, it's time to take a dive. Today we're embarking on an adventure to explore the colorful world of clownfish. Our journey begins in this bustling coral reef where these tiny but charismatic fish call home. Yeah, now clownfish are also known as anemone fish. They have captured our hearts in these vibrant colors and intriguing behaviors. Yeah, clownfish come in lots of colors. Okay, how many fish can you count? One, two, three, four, five, six. Whoa, six of them. All right, let's start with something super cool. Clownfish have an amazing talent. They can change their gender. That's right, when the leader of their group, which is usually a female, is gone, the largest clownfish, the male, can become a female. It's like a fishy superhero transformation right on the reef. Wow, okay, what color is this clownfish? Orange and white. What color is this clownfish? Yeah, a red one. Now only certain clownfish can pair with certain anemones. Yeah, and did you know that daddy clownfish are really devoted fathers. I mean, just ask Marlin from Finding Nemo. Yeah, they'll guard their nest and prepare it for the babies. Now, Carl clownfish are also omnivores. Yeah, they eat plants and animals, mainly algae, zooplankton, but also crustaceans. Yeah, their anemone can provide shelter from their predators. And the clownfish, in return, remove the parasites and drive away intruders. Now both of these species actually benefit. Yeah, it's called a symbiotic relationship. Wow, and there you have it, fellow ocean explorers. Wow, the world of clownfish is a truly magnificent place with their symbiotic partnerships, gender-changing abilities, and their vibrant personalities. These tiny fish play an important role in the ecosystem, adding a dash of color and a splash of character to our coral reefs. As we wrap up our underwater adventure, remember there's always more to discover beneath the waves. Keep exploring, keep learning, and always be engaged. Thanks for taking this dive with me. I, Ira Kanji, Today was one of those days where I was super overwhelmed and I was having a little bit of a freak out. So I wanna teach you something that's kind of similar to the starfish breath. And we're gonna call these whale breaths. So whales are really big and they got really big lungs. So if you're gonna take a whale breath, you breathe in super slowly into your really big lungs through your nose. And then I want you to think of your mouth as the air hole and think about how slowly you can push the air out of your air hole as a whale. So let's breathe in through our nose. Whoa, that was a really good whale breath. Let's try it one more time. Wow, that was even better. Just some deep breaths like that our whale breaths can really help calm us down. All right, now that we're feeling more relaxed, I think it's time for our buoyancy test. Yep, let's go see what sink or floats. All right, we got another buoyancy test today. 
Yep, that's right. We're gonna see if things sink or float. Okay, what do we got? Dino Popper! All right, Dino Popper, you're pretty light. What do you think, sink or float? And ice cream cone! Also pretty light. These are the ones at the beach where you can make little sand ice creams. Okay, let's see, sink or float. Ready, T-Rex, you go first. <gasps> he sinks! I was not expecting that. Okay, ice cream, what about you? Sink or float? <gasps> Floats. It was pretty light, I was expecting that. Okay, so on today's show, Dino Popper sinks, ice cream floats. So I guess if you're doing any popping in the ocean, make sure you don't drop it. <laughs> All right, see you again next time. Well, join us next time on an exciting venture on the Kristen Starfish Show. Keep swimming and shining like the starfish that you are. If you like these videos, please like and subscribe. And remember, in a world of angry sharks, let's all be starfish. Take care.